Hello everyone, Doug Redmond here, um, and I'm going to be showing you the new app I wrote. It's called File Catalog. And uh, the problem I'm trying to solve with this app, um, some I, I've heard some people asking for a feature where uh, they want to be able to delete a file from Vault, yet keep the metadata around. So I got to thinking that uh, maybe we can solve this problem with custom objects. If we could create a custom object that is uh, uh, basically contains all the metadata from a file, it, it would be kind of like a record, a file record. Uh, and once you have the record in place, you could then safely delete the file and you'd still have all of the metadata sitting around. So let me just kind of show you how this program works. Um, when you install it for the first time um, uh, onto a vault system, uh, an administrator should log in through uh, the vault client. And what's going to happen is, um, because this uses uh, custom objects, uh, vault needs to be set up with that custom object definition. So uh, the program will do that for you. So when the admin uh, logs in for the first time, it's going to detect that there's no um, custom object there. OK, so this is what the administrator is going to see. The app detects that the custom uh, object definition is not there. It's going to prompt them to run the configuration. So all you have to do as an admin is hit yes. And then it's going to tell you to log out, log back in again. So let's do that. So now you have uh, a new custom object type called file records. And by default, it's a pretty basic definition. So. Uh, It doesn't have any uh, custom security on it or anything. If, if you want to configure that, you, you're certainly um, welcome to go do that. Um, it also sets up uh, a category for that, uh, that custom object type. And it's got a rule that will, that will uh, set everything to that category. Um, that, that's a file record. So that's the, uh, the custom object definition and let's uh, let me show you how you would use this so I guess we'll go to the padlock example again so let's say we're done with this project and we want to remove some of these files from uh, the vault we want to delete the files but we want to keep the metadata so what we would do is we'd highlight the files we want to keep a record of. And if you go under Actions, there's this uh, new command there that says Create File Record. And when you run that, it's going to go through and um, attempt to uh, create a, a custom object and set all the properties to match the file properties. Now, the file properties um, could have any number of user-defined properties for them. So it will try to figure out which ones uh, um, to use. And if uh, there isn't a property yet for the custom object, it will um, try to create them for you. And that's what this prompt is here. It's, it says, hey, I need to, uh, I either need to create some new property definitions or I need to edit some existing ones if you want to get all of this metadata. Again, this is something only an admin will see. Because if you're not an admin, you can't set up these property definitions. So it, it's going to have a prompt that says, well, do you want me to create these properties? Um, and if you hit yes, it will go in and, and create, uh, create the properties for you. And let me kind of show you what it looks like. So here, here's our records. And as you can see, it's got all these properties. Now, if it's uh, a user-defined property, it can just reuse the existing property definition. It'll just go in and say, 
um, you know, like this project property. It used to just be a file property, now it's also a custom object property. Um, in the case of system properties, those work a bit differently. Um, the, uh, the program will actually create new properties and the, it'll give it this prefix of file catalog um, in front of it. And this is for storing all of the, uh, all of the system data, the stuff that you can't just explicitly uh, set. And if we go back to the, uh, the folder, um, you'll see that it also created links from that folder to those, those custom uh, object records. So now that we've got our metadata, we can um, delete the original files. So I should also point out, um, you know, uh, the first time we ran this, it had to create some properties. Um, if we run it again on another file, uh, it might not need to create properties the next time through. So in that case, you won't see any dialogue uh, asking you to hit yes. It'll just say, oh, I'm done. Um, and here's our, our record. So just to kind of show you that it's working, uh, we can do a find. If we do one of these any finds, and we go, um, let's just say we're going to look up the name here. This is one of the, uh, the files that I created a record for. Um, it, returns, uh, it returns the record entry. And it returns the file entry as well because I haven't deleted the file yet. But the idea is when you delete the file, you can still locate the record through the search. So that's it. That, that's basically um, a, a quick uh, demo of the app. Please uh, give me your feedback. Love to hear what you think.